Attention bobsled riders, you will soon be embarking on a thrilling podcast down the icy slopes of the Matterhorn, so please remain seated keeping your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the bobsled at all times. Auf Wiedersehen! Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Matterhorn Yodelers. I'm your host today, my name is Peter, I'm followed, I have my other co-host uh, uh, here, Jackie and Javeth. And today we're going to have an interesting discussion. So we've all seen the movie Onward, right? So we all know, and I'm, I won't spoil the movie, I'll just give the premise here. So the premise of the movie is that uh, these these kids, their father had passed away when they were young, but when they got older, their father left them with the ability to bring their dad back for one full day. So that brought about the idea of what if we could bring Walt Disney back for one day? What would we want to do with them? We're bringing Father Walt back? We're bringing Father Walt back. Wait, is he going to be like gross looking like zombie style or is he going to be... bring him from the dead, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me do it. It's not a pretty picture. <laughs> I want to do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this would be Walt towards the end of his life. So 1955, well, opening the, at Disneyland maybe. 19... 60 Walt. 1960 Walt 1960 Walt okay so we're gonna start things off with Jackie here what are you going to do with your one day with Walt Disney I was thinking about this and I think I would just want to like talk to Walt and just hear <laughs> I know this is, like, weird, <laughs> but I would want to hear, like, all the gossip. You want to hear the dirt. I want to hear the dirt uh, behind certain movies and theme parks, uh, things like, the, I'm a huge Mary Poppins fan, so I would want to hear a little bit more details of the making of Mary Poppins. Learn about Julia, uh, what's her name? Uh, P.L. Travers. Yeah, P.L. yeah. The well, author, not the author, the um, the Julie, main actress, Julie Please. Andrews. Julie, Julie Andrews, Andrews. Yes. like learn about her coke addiction. No, <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, like just kind of like the behind the scenes of making of each movie. Of like, I don't want it sugar coated. I don't want. I don't want like the movie or like the news side of it. I want, if me and Walt were in a room together and we're best friends, like, I want that type of level. Okay, so you just want, like, an in-depth analysis of every aspect, maybe, like, the the things that they struggled with, or... Yes, like, the making of Disneyland, like, how... The drama there. Yes, the drama of making it, getting the proper like business set up and the ideas going getting the money that was that's that was the big issue there <laughs> so which mafia money. group did you go to for your money <laughs> like i would want cuz i feel like sometimes history of walt may be a little sugar coated and some pixie dust in there there might be some mm. little pixie dust and so i would want to know the secrets so where are you having this like this discussion. Yeah. I th so I think it would be at Disneyland. You would do it at Disney. And Walt's uh, suite. The firehouse suite. In the firehouse or at no, New Orleans? New Orleans. Okay. That was another suite he had? That was a suite that they w were building for Walt and his family. Right. But then he passed away and the family never used it. And it was empty for a very long time until it became the Disney Gallery, and then they turned it into the Dream Suite. It was our secret and lunch now it's, place. Now it's an, an exclusive club. Now, so. But I think like I would want to spend some time in the suite in the Dream Suite. Okay. And then of course like walk through Disneyland with them, talk about certain rides, 
and also like see its reaction. What on ride the would newer you want ones. information on? What ride specifically would you want to get information about? Um, pirates would probably be a big one. Okay. Um, I also want to know like the making of like the castle. Okay. The idea process the behind idea process. the design of it. Yeah. Okay. So. So you you you're just at what point do you end your day? Like you've you've ridden rides. Is there a specific ride you'd like to show Walt? Be like, hey, what do you think about this ride? Um, it would be kind of fun to take him on uh, the Guardian of the Galaxy ride. Right? The, oh, right. the in California Adventure. In California Adventure because it's re- it's pretty extreme from like any of like Walt's ideas and like that's newer well, technology. I mean, granted, probably the most extreme ride that Walt probably rode in a Disney park was the Matterhorn. Right. That was, yeah. So just to, like, have him see the technology side of that and, like, get his reaction of this newer technology would be kind of fun to see. It would be funny if he writes the Guardians of the Galaxy, right? And he goes, you know what, this would be really cool. If we themed it as a 1940s hotel <laughs> that gets struck by lightning <laughs> with hotel and guests disappearing hotel guests disappearing that would be genius i was like i think that would be a better theme right and i'm like you know what i agree with you <laughs> <laughs> so is there any food you want i know you like you're big on food so you like walt yeah. try this food it's gonna blow your mind hmm you would have a list of like foods you like I do love food but I love food so much uh try the gray stuff it's delicious um I think like it would be cool to take um on um oh my mind's blinking on the restaurant and pirates the blue bayou blue bayou there it is I would love to take does he grab the tab or do you grab the tab on that one um, well, if Walt's showing up, it's all complimentary. <laughs> yeah. I hope so, because my scenario is based on my, his money. <laughs> Not my money. Not necessarily his money. his money, it's just his presence. Yes. We'll get, yeah, sure, you can go wherever you want to go, dude. <laughs> okay. All right, just making sure. I was like, I hope I yeah, don't no, no, no. There's, there's no limitations to, to yeah. the scenario. I think the Blue Bayou would be cool because it's a little bit more quiet. Like, with my day with Walt, like, I would want more of a relaxing, kind of chill environment where he can feel comfortable enough to tell me different stories. The tea. I want to hear the tea. Hmm. And would I tell anyone? No, I would not tell anyone. Oh, you think so? I would. No books? You're just going to just keep nope, yourself? No, I would oh, keep it to like, myself. No, I wouldn't keep that to myself. <laughs> this is, that would be stuff that like... I'm making be, millions. Yeah, you'd make millions. One day with Walt Disney and you have all the secret stories. It's like going into Wonka's factory. <laughs> yeah. No, I would keep it to my grave. Some okay. people would take, you know, would <laughs> take you to your grave because there's some information. You know what so. people know about those coke addictions? <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> What's with you and drugs lately? <laughs> oh, we're gonna go on a crystal meth ride pretty soon online. <laughs> so that's my day. It's really simple. I know you guys. How do you finish it off? Let me just know. Oh, how fireworks! Do you it. Hands down. Fireworks sitting on a park bench, waiting till everyone leaves, and walking down Main Street, me and him together, enjoying the environment. Okay. At Christmas time. Christmas, Christmas time. time. Okay. okay. Christmas time. That was good. I, I enjoyed that. Did you have any thoughts about no, that? No, I don't. I gotta ask my questions. That was good. I'll cool it with the drug references. <laughs> 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 All right. So, Javith. You have one day with Walt Disney. Let Take us on your journey. I'm excited for this one. Like I said, crystal meth ride right here. <laughs> Jackie's all relaxed. I am like, all right, guys, let's do this. So start off at the firehouse. On Main Street. On Main Disneyland. Street at the apartment. I pick okay. him up there, introduce myself, and we eat breakfast at the Plaza Inn. And like, do a little 
quick breakfast, introduce, hey, look, okay, this is our day. We're just going all out. Let's do this. He's, he's you're, going, like, you're going full out, um, full full out Disneyland day, huh? A full on unique Disneyland. Unique experience. Disneyland. This is, like I said, there's a little information there, but it's more of just like I did this with Walt experience. Sure. So the first thing we do is we ride the Jungle Cruise, but we dress up as poachers, <laughs> and we grab the guns and we ride Jungle Cruise killing all the animals like the famous hippo picture of Walt. But we will have a photographer taking pictures of us. And I do want somebody on the radio calling in to the radio boat going, Zimba 1, Zimba 1, we have poachers. <laughs> I'd be like, what? yeah, we do. And we hold the like the, the Jungle Cruise skipper hostage while we're doing this. And he narrates what we're shooting. And we're like, oh, the humanity. And they're like, there's no humanity out here. And we're shooting everything. Not real guns, just cab guns. But it's just... Kind of just the experience of going through all the rivers. And then we won't ride the backside of water. We'll go through the front side of water. I always see the backside. I just want to just want to like do the opposite, they always say. All right, so once we're done with that, we're going to go to Pirates. Costume change. Costume changes. Awesome. Oh, yeah. We are riding Pirates, but we are going to ride the ride, and then... You're going to be Dreadheads. What? You're going to be redheads? Redheads? We want, want the, the red... No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I forgot. That's gone now. <laughs> so I'm going to... We're going to dress up as pirates, and we're going to take over boats. Okay. And we're going <laughs> to jump in and out of boats and through the scenes acting as pirates. But yeah, that would be fun. Try to, like... Maybe we steal the redhead or something like that. <laughs> so we do, we do that. So the next thing we do is Haunted Mansion. These are some of the things Walt didn't... Like the pirates, yeah, he, he didn't, didn't get to see this. And Haunted Mansion, so we're doing Haunted Mansion. Um, we're gonna ride the ride, and then we're gonna do a costume change. We're going to, I'm gonna dress up as a ghost. Walt's gonna wear a leotard, and then he's gonna put what? a. Man, this is a, this, this is, is fun. This, this is a journey. Is extreme. Oh yes. So then he's putting on this capsule like over his head. And he's going to put on face painting like his head's frozen. <laughs> frozen. Okay. Like Walt's frozen head. Walt's frozen head. You know yes. what? I think that would be a really good podcast. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm biased, but I think... But he would float around. We would go throughout the ride and we would scare guests. And he would pop his head in the doom buggies. And be like, boo! You know, it would just kind of... He would float around with Madame Leota. So we kind of have fun with his, like, Walt frozen head so situation. Pe so, pe so you're going off of people don't know that Walt's alive. No. Okay. And so we're kind of just having fun with it. That's why we got costumes, but we're still having guest interactions. Um, after that, we're kind of getting a little hungry. A lot of, like, movement and going. Getting the Dole Whips. And Bengal Tiger, you know, um, uh, skewers. So we'll do that. Eat those real quick. And then we are actually going to leave the park real quick. And we're going to watch Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark at a theater. Okay. So we do okay. that. Go on and see Indiana Jones. Yes. Okay. I love Indiana Jones. I'm wearing my Indiana Jones shirt today. We're going to watch Indiana Jones. And then we're going to get back and we're going to ride Indiana Jones. Okay. So you want to give them contacts. Of course. Some of you are going to be like, well, it's interesting. Who's this guy that keeps showing up? So we'll see and be like, that's great. Um, let's see. After that, we are going to go and walk through Tomorrowland. And Interesting I, choice. Why, yeah. why Tomorrowland? I want him to walk through Tomorrowland and cry. And, cry. <laughs> and then we're going to have all the Disney execs and engineers show up and walk. And Walt is going to walk him through Tomorrowland. With a bell screaming, shame, shame, and I guess throw things at the Imagineers and executives who have failed Tomorrowland. He's like, this is a Tomorrowland, this is a horrible 1996 version of my land. So I want to get that out of the way. Just I want Walt to publicly shame them for the failures that they have done at Tomorrowland. After that, 
We get on some jet skis. <laughs> oh and go, God, we're going jet on jet skis? skis. Where are you going on jet skis? The rivers of America. <laughs> <laughs> so we go. We start riding jet skis all around the rivers of America. I mean, doesn't that seem fun? Like that sounds fantastic. I mean, the guests are gonna be like, "What the heck's going on?" And be like, "Oh, they're just filming a movie," and you just see Walt and I just like chasing each other with jet skis. So we do that, and then what do we do after that? Uh, we get cleaned up, and we put on all black again, and uh, we get Halloween mask of Walt Disney, and we put them over our face as we drive one of the Main Street cars to a local bank, and we rob the bank. Okay, we're robbing Whoa! banks. We're committing crimes with Walt Disney here. Why not? Like I said... We're along for the ride. Jackie's That's all it. like... That's fine. Jackie's vitamin C. This is C. your day. <laughs> Jackie's vitamin C while I'm crystal meth with like... Yeah, that's, that's With Walt fine. Disney. Can, so, we are... We rob the bank and we make it back on the property before the police can get to us. At that point, they need a warrant to arrest us. We were wearing masks. There's no way they're going to find us. So, but it's kind of funny that Walt has to wear a Walt mask. <laughs> um, after that, I take half the money... And I give it to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital because I don't really need all that money. And then I take the other half and we use it for um, use it for later for tonight. So we get back and we're going to put on Lederhosen and we're going to climb the Matterhorn. Why not? Why not? Why not? It's I mean, there. we already robbed the bank. We already I robbed the bank. Oh, the wait, 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 wait. Forgot. After we rob the bank, we get back. We have a tattoo artist waiting for us and we're going to have... Uh, I'm going to get a commemorative tattoo of Mickey Mouse. Uh, you know that Mickey gone... Walt with me. You yeah, know. no. <laughs> <laughs> Where, you remember Mickey with the, the crazy hair from yeah. the airplane mm -hmm. one? What's that called? Mickey? Plain crazy. Plain crazy, yes. I'm going to have that Mickey Mouse where he's going to have a gun in one hand and a bag of money in the other to commemorate... My Can robbery rob with... The the robbed the I robbed the we're both Yes, we're both going to get matching tattoos. I think I'm going to put it on like my, my, on my side, my hip. Your hip? My hip. I want my Mickey tattoo there. Where's Waltz? Uh, it's up to him. I, I'll add that choice up to him. But he, if he asked you... I think he would want it on his like right arm. He seems like a right arm tattoo kind of person. Okay. And you can hide it with shirts and stuff. Okay, so we're claiming the Matterhorn. We get to the top, and then we yodel. Seems appropriate. <laughs> sure, why Yeah, we're the yodelers. Seems like another good podcast name. <laughs> yeah. <Yodels. laughs> and so after that, uh, we um, go in to the secret entrance and play a game of pig, a basketball, sure. inside the Matterhorn. And then from there, we zip line from the Matterhorn using Tinkerbell's um, famous zip line. Yes. The, the, the line in the sky that Peter Pan drew for Tinkerbell. Yes. So that she doesn't fly into the fireworks. Yes. That was... That's, that's the really, explanation. That's really good. I like that. <laughs> but it's a zip line for me and Walt. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll be yodeling as we go down. During this time, the riverboat has been closed and it's been turned into a casino. So I take half that money that I have stolen from the bank and me and Walt... We just gamble, you know, the river evening away. Gamblers. We are riverboat <laughs> gambling on the Mark Twain on the Rivers of America. How well are you guys going to do? How well are we going to do? Um, it doesn't matter. Okay. But we are dressed up as famous characters. So he will be dressed up as Mark Twain, and I will be dressed up as Abraham Lincoln because I've got a beard. And it just would be really weird to have... Me dressed up as Benjamin Franklin with a beard. Kind of like... I wanted to do the homage to the um, the American experience at Disney World. But I was like, no, someone would have to shave and I don't want... So he can be he can be Mark Twain. He'd be a good Mark Twain. Um, so we do that, just enjoying our night. Um, and at that point we would get off and I would go to Fantasyland. And we would ride the carousel and then do as Jackie did. Exit out of the park late at night. How our father likes to do is to walk out and experience fantasy land one last time as you go down Main Street. I will drop off Walt at the firehouse and that will complete 
our crazy day. Well, that that was quite the adventure. Yeah, I don't know if Walt physically could handle all of that. Doesn't <laughs> matter. Doesn't matter. This Did is... I say it was not the crystal meth experience? No. <laughs> <laughs> this was Jafa's day with yep. Walt Disney, and that was quite the adventure. I enjoyed that. That, and I put no limitations. I made it very clear that you could literally do anything you... If you wanted to take Walt to a bar, you could take Walt to a bar. <laughs> Doesn't matter. This was your day, and that was quite the adventure. <laughs> what was what was the thing that surprised you the most about that day? The bank robbery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was pretty extreme right there. That one, that one took a left. So everything else was like in the park. You were doing stuff that was like... Okay, so you're just kind of goofing around in Disneyland, which is cool. And then you you went and robbed the bank. <laughs> so, yeah, that one, that one definitely took me by surprise. I mean, everybody wants to rob a bank once in their life and get away with it. Why not do it with Walt Disney while wearing Walt Disney masks? <laughs> sure, why not? There's nothing wrong with that. Well, there are many things wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's there's... why I redeem myself by donating half the proceeds to... Or half the robbery to <laughs> St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Well, that was quite the adventure. I don't know. So, me. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's hear your story after I'm going to bring it down. <laughs> I'm kind of fall on a line in between both of you guys. Um, so, what are you robbing? I'm not robbing. <laughs> what, the My tattoo? day is not about what I want to do, per se. It's about Walt himself. Um... Walt, you know, unfortunately, there are many things that he never got to see and do um, that he worked on. And so I wanted him to see many of those things. But one of the things that I remember hearing that Walt loved to do was just he loved being in the park amongst the fans, amongst the people, seeing the happy faces, seeing the joy and excitement that he helped bring to other people's lives, which brought me to think that probably one of the best places you could ever take Walt Disney would be a D23 convention. Because mm. there you can see truly the, the most high tier of Disney fans out there. You've got the cosplayers dressed up as all the characters. Granted, he's not going to know half the characters people are dressed up as, but he's able to see the true impact on what he started and what that created and the community that that's created. Because, in my opinion, I don't think there's another fan base like a Disney fan base anywhere else in the world. Um, there's, it's just so diverse and massive. Um, and to have him, and I think the D23 convention is a great place for him to see not only just the fans aspect, but also the company aspect. So like he can go and see what the Imagineers, which at that time they were just wed enterprises, um, what the Imagineers are working on the technology that they're working with the innovation of how to tell stories and how to immerse people into a whole new world um, he's able to see you know how animation has evolved and changed and in, in all reality if there was no Walt Disney I don't think animation would have become as big and as popular as it is today because you talk to most animators and storytellers today, they'll tell you they were inspired by something the Walt Disney Company did, and which will all usually always ends up at Walt Disney himself. And so, him being able to see the 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 impact that his life has had on the world as a whole, to see that not only does he have a theme park in California, in Florida. But in Japan, in Paris, in Hong Kong, in Shanghai, he's got cruise lines. They've got cruise lines all over the ocean. Like, his name is everywhere. And it all comes from him just like 
wouldn't it be cool if we could just have a place where families could have fun together? Like that would be amazing. Just to, I wouldn't necessarily ask him questions or like bombard him with like, what do you think about this? Or rob a bank. Rob a bank. <laughs> I, I wouldn't ask him to rob a bank. I would just want to see his expression. I would answer his questions because he's going to have a lot of questions because... He died in the 1960s. So there's a lot of things that he's going to be like, what's this? What's that? He's like, did we make it to the moon? Did we make it to the moon? <laughs> Where's our spaceships up there? And he's going to be like, ooh. <laughs> so, like, it would be really great just to see his reaction to, to see what he brought. And, of course, after the convention, just down the road, is Disneyland. And I would first take him to probably Pirates of the Caribbean mm -hmm. because that was probably the one of the last projects that he really got his hands on um, in specifics and uh, and probably the one he'd probably be most curious about on how that turned out um, and so and like let him experience that for the first time and then I would show him Haunted Mansion because he also worked on that as well um, and then I would probably take him to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Mm. I would take him there. With no context of what With Star no Wars. context with Star Wars. Because granted, I mean, he didn't you don't need context for Pirates of the Caribbean or for Haunted Mansion. It's True. just you enter in, you're in a whole new place. You're immersed in this world. All he would need to know is you're on a new planet. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's all you need to know. You're on a new planet. And then you and he's like, is this Tomorrowland? <laughs> and you're <laughs> like, oh. Well, we don't need to take you there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why did you move Tomorrowland behind uh, Frontierland? Oh. I didn't place this here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that side of the park. <laughs> <laughs> it's forbidden. <laughs> but um, I would take him there because... Like, the one thing that, like, Walt wanted to do was to bring people to make them a part of the story. Because if you look at when when Walt created the uh, the original Fantasyland attractions, he did not include the main characters in the ride. He left them out because he wanted you to take the place of the main character, that you were playing the part of the main character. And so, Galaxy's Edge... The new Star Wars land, that brings it to the next level, where it's no longer you're a character in the story. No, it's you, as a person, are part of the story. And to be able to be immersed in that whole environment of, uh, of that whole new level of storytelling in a theme park, which is definitely unheard of in his time. Like Nobody would consider dedicating an entire land to one movie, you know, to a, a franchise or whatever. And so my day would be more about what, what Walt would want to see. And I think a lot of it would just be the things that he personally worked on and um, wanted to see how they turned out. And he would like to see his impact. And, and that was kind of my, my thought process as to what I think Walt would have wanted to see, is to see the joy and happiness in everyone's faces, because that's what he really wanted. He wanted everyone to be a part of the story, to feel engaged, and um, and so I would like him to, to see that. So that's, you know, I would like to, you know, be cool and put him on Indiana Jones or Space <laughs> Mountain, things like that. And like, yeah, that would be great. But I think just, I think that, in my opinion, would be the most worthwhile experience I would have with Walt. It's just to, just to watch him. Just to be there, see his face, light up, and him go, what's that? How does that work? You know, him just, because that's what he did. Like when it, when he was, when he was alive, he would walk into where, uh, Wedway or where the Imagineers work and he would be like what's this how does that work how are you going to do that like he's just a kid in a candy shop and that's exactly what I would want to see I would want to see him get all excited about the little details like oh that's cool about that like show me that 
that's the part I would like to see with Walt. So that's that's how I would like to spend the day with Walt. Um, very sentimental. Um, Does he do any advising yeah. while no. here? He's no. just observing. He's observing. In. Does he talk about his thoughts on what if he's he wants observing? To. If he wants to. I mean, I'm not there to pry into his opinion. This is this day was about him and what he would want to do. If he wanted to talk to me about his stories and his details, I'm all for it. I love that <laughs> stuff. I eat it up all day. But it's his one day on this planet. I want it to be about him and his choices and what he would want to see. So, How are you ending the day? Probably with some fireworks, you know, with a parade. Um, I would love to just, you know, do what Walt did um, before the parks would open. Get into one of the little fire engines and just drive up and down Main Street. And just let him drive and let him play with his toys one more time. Mm. That's really sweet. <laughs> I thought about us robbing the, the train. <laughs> Yeah, him, like, being the train conductor and, you know, <laughs> see how fast we can let it go and try to rob the guest. Maybe hold a couple of ransom. <laughs> well, I must say we all had pretty different yeah, I'm glad point we of did. Views. I'm very glad we had different point of views because I was worried that, that one of us was going to go the route that I did. And so I'm glad none of you guys did. You guys went in completely opposite. Well, Jackie's was a little similar. You you had yeah. you you wanted to go on a sentimental journey, right. and yours was about you know, getting getting more stories, hearing his voice. I and... wanted to know more information that is not in the textbooks. Sure, absolutely, the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. I, I love that stuff. Oh, and mine's purely selfish. And his is pure <laughs> self, and that's fine. That's fine. You can have a most selfish day with Walt Disney. That's perfectly fine. I feel like I just won the like jackpot where I'm like, well, we can take out Walt. Okay. Yeah, well, absolutely. Do what I want to do. That's right. Do what you want to do. And so, like, what if Walt's like, no, I'm good. I'm just gonna go here. I just want to see my I, family. I just, I just want to smoke a cigar and this off, and you spend the whole day inside of his like apartment. You'd be like, I'm crazy. <laughs> It's like, man, I like myself a good, you know, cigar. And sitting there going, <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be sentimental. <laughs> man, it's a good cigar. <laughs> well, I'll bring it over to you guys, to our audience here. If you had to spend one day, if you got to spend one day with Walt Disney, you can do anything you wanted to do. If you wanted to go rob a bank, go rob a bank with Walt Disney. If you wanted to go to Disneyland, if you want to go to Disney World, Go to Tokyo. Let us know. Follow us on our social medias. We're on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, I believe what's uh, we have an email address at MatterhornYodelers at gmail.com. Gmail yeah. So uh, feel free to write us there. Um, and, uh, yeah. And uh, thank you for joining us for this week's episode of the Matterhorn Yodelers. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of the Matterhorn Yodelers. Please remember before your bobsled comes to a complete stop to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, remain seated please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. <laughs>